Hey guys, it's Savvy here, and wow, I haven't posted, well, a Bad Boys and Leather Jackets episode in two months and a video in a month. Oops. This question has probably been spiraling around for a while, and where have I been for two months? I... Uh, school's been very, um, <clears throat> annoying. Before you skip past this, I have a lot of announcements to make, so please continue watching. But basically, I've been trying to keep up with my grades lately, and I've been just focused, and uh, it's just so stressful, and now I'm getting to the point where I can actually make videos again, so that's really good. Anyways, as you can probably tell, I finally changed my mascot Autumn's outfit. It looks super cute now. I'm not wearing that typical bow. and golden blue necklace anymore. It's the silver look and I really like it on her. And now for the big announcements. That didn't work. So first things first is I'm going to be actually collabing with one of my friends hopefully very very soon. Um, I have no idea when we'll be able to do it yet but my friend LPS Topaz, you may know her on YouTube or Instagram, and we will be collabing and doing a skit together, which I'm really thrilled and excited to do. Another huge announcement is that my little sister Alyssa, aka LPS Kitty Pops if you're subscribed to her, she is creating her own LPS series and I would just recommend subscribing to her just to keep up with that. And yeah, and you guys should totally look forward to watching that. Last thing, thank you all so much for 20,000 subscribers though. I am so thrilled and so thankful for all of you guys, and I can't believe we made it this far on YouTube. For hitting 20,000 subscribers, I am having a little, I guess, Q&A for the Bad Boys and Leather Jackets cast. Which means after you watch this video, comment below basically any questions you would like to ask any of the cast. Like for example, Aiden, Lexi, um, Brandon, Jillian, or Liliana, any of them. That's all I have for those announcements. I hope you guys enjoy this episode, and I'm so sorry for the long wait. I shivered as I walked towards Aiden's apartment building. I wrapped my arms around myself, trying to stay warm. I started to pick up the pace as I saw the building. It's pretty cold out there, isn't it? Well, it doesn't help that I'm all wet. Why are you all wet? You're gonna catch a cold out there. There was an accident in the chemistry lab. Don't break my elevator, kid. I looked back at him with a guilty look in my eyes. His face contained no emotion. It was like a blank page. Sorry. Hey, wait. What are you to Aiden? As soon as Aiden opened the door, his face continued to surprise me. He looked so calm, so content. His hair was a mess, and his green eyes soft, and his jawline so sculpted. Hey, Lexi. <laughs> Did you miss me? Nah, I just missed some other Lexi. <laughs> <laughs> so, how was cleaning the chemistry lab? Oh, it was so much fun. I swear, Miss Star was ready to cut all of our throats. <laughs> Aiden's laugh brought joy to my heart. His laugh was contagious, making me giggle as well. <laughs> um, hey, 
Lexi. Yes? I was a little caught off guard by his sudden seriousness, but remained calm. We really have been getting closer. We can both joke and be sarcastic towards each other, but also be serious when needed. We are two bright people that have evolved from darkness. W would... <sighs> I was slightly terrified at to what he had to say. He looked away from me, appearing to be shy. He was adorable when he was flustered. What is it, Aiden? Would you want to go out tonight? I blushed slightly. Normally, I would joke when giving my answer, but I think he deserves a genuine and serious answer. Yes, I would love to. Aiden's eyes widened with excitement, and he smiled so brightly. <laughs> I laughed at his cute reaction. And I was surprised at how fast my heart was beating. Well, I guess I should go get ready then. What's on the agenda for tonight? How about dinner and a movie? <laughs> Sounds good. Hey, don't take too long getting ready. I won't. <sighs> my heart was beating so rapidly. A date? I have never been on a date before. What does one do? What does one wear? We were just going to the movies, so I can't wear something super fancy. Where are we going to dinner? I don't want to look underdressed for dinner. Oh. Oh yeah, I am so ready for this date. <laughs> Aiden, I'm done. <laughs> I thought you said you wouldn't take too long, you dork. Uh, that was only like 20 minutes. <laughs> My nerves had vanished from before, and he also looked quite nice. Whatever you say, Blondie. Thank you, kind sir. Race ya! Hey! <laughs> I won! Oh yeah? Hey, <laughs> stop! Hey, <laughs> stop tickling me! <laughs> now I know your weak spot. He poked my stomach and I jumped at his touch, blush appearing on my cheeks. Oh great, you're gonna use that as a threat now, huh? You bet I will. <laughs> hey, I hope you didn't mess up my hair. You look fine, don't worry. And then, for some reason, we had a staring contest like children. But my concentration broke when the door opened. I won. Hey, not fair! Hey, George. Hey, did. Bro, we really need to get together to play this new game that just came out. George literally ignored my presence. Yeah, totally. Tomorrow? And Aiden was making plans before we even went on a date. We can talk more later. You guys have fun tonight. Please be safe. We will. I blushed more as Aiden got closer to me. Please don't drink. I don't want to have to pick your sorry butts up later. We won't, Dad. If I ever lost my dad, I don't think I could ever joke around that he was someone else. You're supposed to be 21 when drinking, but hey, we're teenagers. Alright, bye, George. Bye. Okay, it may be a little chilly this evening, so just hang on to me, okay? Yeah, I'll stay close. The night was going to be magical.